so you may be wondering what's the deal with that uh, shadow there. Uh, the deal is that I've got a new career. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. I've become an old time trapper. Yes, I have. You don't believe me? Check this out. Not only am I a trapper, I'm a successful trapper. Wonder how much those pets are worth. Good morning. I'm sitting over here editing this video, talking silly about being an old time trapper. And I hear the mouse trap go off. You know, I do feel bad for mice. I don't feel bad enough to stop doing this, but I do feel bad. So, if you're one of those people that feel bad for the mice, I'm sorry. Oh, and if you're one of those people who feel sorry for flies, I'm not sorry. 214. This would be your great egret. And I thought I saw two birds dancing. It turns out it was one bird fishing and his reflection in the water. That rippling on his neck is a reflection off the waves. Well, it's Friday morning and I don't have a video for you again, so I thought because the last one about being stopped by the Mexican police was so popular that I'd just tell you another one of those. I may have told this one before, uh, so if you've heard this story before, uh, I apologize. If you have heard this story before, you could just consider yourselves one of my f closest friends or relatives because they've all heard all these stories before. That's why I had to start a channel so I could get a new audience. I'm, I, yeah, I'm not looking at you because I'm looking out there. There's a whole bunch of mallards, ducks, in the river. I'll show you those another time. Uh, my friend and I are driving his uh, GMC four-wheel drive Yukon SUV, and we're driving it in the lake, out in the water. We're seeing how far out in the water we can go, um, and the Lake Chapala is rather shallow quite a ways out, so we're out there quite a ways, and the water is up above the hubs, and we're making a wake. <laughs> and we're driving along the shore from my house towards uh, what is the pier in Ahihik. There are a couple of motorcycle uh, cops who have kind of like dirt bikes that patrol the beach. And they see us and they motion for us to come in out of the water. So we do. So we're parked and they are ahead of us facing us with their two motorcycles and one guy gets off while the other one holds the two bikes because they can't let go of them their kickstands are sinking into the sand and the bikes will flop over so one guy's looking for rocks to put under the kickstand and we're finding this more than a little bit funny so we're laughing they get the rocks and they get the bikes secured so they're not flopping over in the sand and they come and they get us out of the car and the first thing that happens is that one of the officers grabs my friend's hand like this and he smells it thinking two guys who are giggling so much must certainly be high on marijuana which was not the case we just thought it was really funny and um, the guy says uh, 
you can't drive in the lake. And I so said, I live on the lake. I see fishermen driving in the lake all the time, or people with ATVs are driving in the lake all the time. I've seen you driving in the lake. And so this intimidation thing about you can't drive in the lake is not, you can't drive in the lake is not working as good as he thought it might. He says, well, what are you doing driving in the lake? He says, um, uh, 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 we're watching the birds. <laughs> so now we're the bird watchers. So anyway, he said, let me see your driver's licenses. So we get our licenses out, and he's holding them, looking at them like this, and he says, you two guys have the same address. Now, my friend was living with me, and he used my address when he got his Mexican driver's license. So, yeah, we have the same address. He said, you have the same address? I said, yeah, we live together. And the guy looks up like this, and I said, with my wife, and what's your real question? <laughs> So anyway, we're not being intimidated by this you can't drive in the lake thing. <clears throat> and after a while, um, the officers relax and decide that we're local people and there's no more data available at this stop. So we drive back in the lake and drive on down the, the beach and come out of the boat ramp down by the... Uh, dock, the pier in Ahihik. Skip ahead 24 hours. I have volunteered to drive a golf cart to ferry people from a remote parking place for an art show that's going on up the street from me. And uh, it's probably oh seven or eight blocks from the art show to the remote parking lot and it's along the highway but along the highway is a special place for bicycles called the cyclopista and it's separated from the highway by a, a concrete barrier so it's a little asphalt path off the side of the highway but you're not supposed to go on there with a motorized vehicle like a motorcycle or a golf cart but I'm not going on the highway with a golf cart so I'm ferrying people back and forth, and I've got this lady with me. We're going towards the uh, parking lot, and we're on the cyclopista, and we're chatting, and I've found out that she's only been in Mexico a few days, so this is all a new experience for her, and I see down there there's a motorcycle cop that has... Uh, a guy he's talking to and he's kind of blocking the cyclopista so I'm quite a ways back and I yell get out of the way and the lady pokes me in the ribs with her elbow and she says that's a cop I say yeah I know get out of the way and we get up to the cop and the cop says to me he says you don't say get out of the way you say, excuse me, please. Or maybe you say, compromiso. But you don't say, get out of the way. And then he grins and laughs and moves his motorcycle so that we can pass. And as we're going past, he's looking at me. And he says, you're the bird watcher. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.